I'm here to do some debugging and some testing of the fuzz aldrin because I got one returned to me. I've already opened it up and started investigating. But um, yeah, the issue was that um, the guy that had this said he had it plugged in, the LED came on, but there was no output. And it just didn't make sense. So I got it back here and I was all eager to find some shorted out wire or something and everything checks out okay now I see some solder blobs in here but uh, they're not like they're coming loose or anything shorting anything out anyway let me uh, hook this stuff up all right power supply 9 volt just from a wall wart over there negative center positive sleeve I'm going to try a couple of different things alright so that's my clean tone volume is down all the way That's just barely turning the volume up. I'll show you on this guy, I basically just turned the volume up maybe about that far. So barely anything. try something All right. other than just unplugging this thing now this is the fuzz pedal unpowered but the signal is routing through the effect here you may be able to hear the clean guitar through that let's turn this up all the way If any of you guys have heard that sound before, it's actually kind of a cool sound. That might, uh, it might make for an interesting effect. I'm going to try some underpower. Just to show you what power supply I'm using, this is the Pig Hog or the Pig Tronics. 9 volt, 1 amp, negative center, positive sleeve. So, what I'm going to do is I have my Variac here. power supply is getting fed through this and I can go anywhere from zero up to a hundred percent try that first now this is about 50 percent power
That's pretty low. LED is just about out. There's barely anything going into this. Now I've got the Variag all the way down. So this thing is really, really starved. It's getting quieter. Okay. Ten percent. Should be a moment. All right, so at about 25% power, this thing comes alive. without power, greatly reduced power, and now I guess I want to try reverse power. Alright, for this next trick, um, this is a, let's see, a 9 volt battery clip with the 2.1 millimeter thing that ordinarily you would plug this into uh, something like the Pigtronics thing that I was using before. Oh goodness. They're all down there somewhere. So ordinarily this thing would plug into a power supply and then it would replace the battery inside of a circuit. Well I don't have battery clips in these things. But what's cool about this <clears throat> let's see. Negative right there is the flared out contact positive is the smaller little button style contact so negative big positive small now if i put this thing on here using that same kind of convention if this was acting as the battery in a circuit the big one would be negative that one would be positive, but what I'm doing is hooking up a battery to this, so the polarity in here is going to be reversed. It's going to have a negative sleeve and it's going to have a positive center. And the fellow that sent this thing back, uh, he said he was using uh, an electro harmonics um, 9 volt power supply, and I took a look online, and all of those were reverse polarity. So they all had the positive center and the negative outside. Uh, let me let me go grab my meter and I'll I'll prove it to to me and I'll prove it to you that this thing is in fact uh, reversed. Be right back. Okay, so VDC. Let's see that 
put it right there. Measuring should tell me zero. Negative zero. Interesting. All right. So ordinarily this thing should be positive on the sleeve and negative on the tip. And minus nine. So that tells me it's positive at the tip and it's negative right there. That should tell me about 9 volts, which it does. So, yeah, this is in fact reversed. Okay, amp is on. This guy's plugged in. doesn't work either, which should be an indication that that goes backwards. But it is curious that we have sound. 